I am back again, the wounded civilian brother. These are some bunch of uh, Igbo youths. You know, maybe they are being paid to come and be doing this kind of uh, a protest. And there is nothing wrong. It's their, it's their fundamental right. But there is something I want these people to understand. What is the use of this kind of protest now? What is the youth, the use of this kind of, you know, shouting, give us will be, will be, give us will be at uh, PDP office or Equata, I don't know. What is the use of this uh, protest? That means you guys were not even aware that your master, your uh, the one you are following, Peter Obi, don't even let you know if he was resigning or not. What is the use of this gathering now? Peter Obi is no longer there. He have resigned. He have resigned. That means you don't, you are not even aware. He have resigned. And if you check the these people that are shouting and give us, give us, if you shout their uh, profile picture now, it is within uh, the canon's picture. In one hand, you need Biafra, you are supporting the terrorism and uh, the canon. The other hand, you want the uh, presenter power. It doesn't work like that. It's like you want to eat your cake and have it. It doesn't work like that. You use brain in whatever you do. We keep saying it here. You call us, hey, we hate you. We don't hate you. The OB is no longer there. He have resigned. What did you want the party to do? To go and be begging him? That means you are not aware that you want you want you are supporting what is planning to resign. He have left PDP already. He have left PDP. There, this protest is uh, is nothing. Is uh, it is foolish. It is foolishness. You know, seeing you people coming out. Look, there's something I want you people to know. Is this Nigeria politics? Nigeria politics is somehow. For this, I hope you are not going to blame Fulani, blame, blame Buhari for, for this. Because Buhari don't control PDP. Before, the majority of you used to see PDP, APC as a northern political party, uh, those uh, Fulani uh, party, you know, to come and kill you, to come and destroy, to come and suppress you, to come and conquer you. The same APC have given their ticket to a certain man now. The PDP you so much love, said anybody can contest and now your brother is out Igbo, you don't know how to play politics that is your problem did you blame pdp Igbo five states the vote coming out from Igbo five is up to one million one million the vote coming from the old five state is it up to one million i don't know i'm asking is it up to one million and you claim you are part of the majority what, uh, 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 like a state like Bonu, the vote coming out from Bonu state, just one state, supersede all the vote coming from Igbo five states, and they say they are majority. Have you ever seen in Nigeria that we say the vote that coming from uh, Lagos, uh, Igbo vote is there? Because your vote, your brother, the vote, Igbo vote in Lagos is part of the the, the, the Lagos vote. Igbo in Kanu, in Kanu, your vote is Kanu's vote. Igbos in uh, where? In Portacot, your vote is Portacot vote. Igbos in uh, Edo, your vote is Edo vote. That is your problem. Not until you sit down. You know, what about Peter Obi? Ask Peter Obi what was sealed and signed. He was a running mate to Atiku. What was sealed and signed? Ask him before you start, you know. To me, I want the PDP to give him the ticket. I like Peter Obi. That's just the truth. I won't deny that. But... Ask him what was still inside. He went to Inadi you know, uh, uh, father's uh, parents, you know, father's barrier. He was there at the first front. Who went to that barrier? Have you ever seen Peter Ruby come out and condemn IPOB and say what you are doing now, it will affect us politically? All these people you are killing, all these people you are terrorizing, all these people you are beheading, beheading politicians, they enforcing sit at home. Because to him, that will make PDP give him the power. And they surprise him now. It doesn't work like that. Sometimes they said, oh, Buhari, it is the agitation in, this, in the north that makes Buhari president. 
But Buhari were even saying it. Vote for me and I will I will stop the insecurity. I will keep Boko Haram. Give me three weeks. Which he knows that he can't he can do the Boko Haram anything. But he was using it to campaign. To the extent Boko Haram was even threatening to assassinate him, to kill him. Have you seen this man coming out? I will stop the, this uh, uh, suggest, this uh, uh, insecurity. Uh, there's nothing. IPOB, you can you say something to them that you are not afraid of them. Let be convinced. Let Nigeria be convinced. Convince us, you know, Nigerians, that yes, you are for Nigeria. Peter B can go and join IPOB and I start agitating for Biafra if he likes. You can, one hand, like this boy that is doing all these uh, protests now. Go and check their uh, Facebook uh, 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 the profile picture. It is with that POBDs or, uh, you know, in the Kano's picture. They are the same people. Now, let me ask you people. Where were all these guys when in the Kano terrorist uh, 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 minions, his terrorist, uh, his food soldiers, the, his, uh, is not ASN uh, or no government, when they were killing people, the Igbos that went to get their PVC, telling them no need for PVC. Where were they? When they were killing INEC officials, where were these people? They didn't come out then and say, no, you can't be killing INEC officials. We need uh, 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 our PVC to vote for our brother. We want a Igbo man to be the next president. Even though they give LB a, a ticket, who will vote for LB? You need to talk. You need to talk, vote from all the region to be president. I don't think that these are POB fools, they know this. You need to talk. Every region must vote for you before you can be the Nigeria president. Since you kill your people who went to go and take their PVC and OB did not come out, you that is on the street now saying OB, OB, they would not see you people condemn such uh, 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 gruesome, such nonsense. If they give Peter OB the ticket, who vote for him? Oh, they say not. You have been castigating. You have been insulted. They're going to vote for you. Or the same Yoruba, whom their brother want to be the president too, that will vote for you. It is either go and declare war, go and buy ammunition and declare war, and leave and carry your Biafra and go. And when you are leaving, please go with your Igbo speaking tribe and don't disturb other minority tribes in the south. That is the problem. You see the problem? We don't hate you. We are telling you politically, you guys are zero. Learn. Let us sit down and learn. You are part of the majority. You have the numbers. Sit down and learn. It's not all to be all this dragging fighting. It will not. It will not. It will lead you to nowhere. Cooking up nasty stories, lying every day. You keep lying, lying, lying to yourself, deceiving yourself. People tell you the truth. You won't. You don't want to listen. You just feel you are already educated. You don't. You don't. You can't learn from anybody. That is the major problem. That is the problem Igbo man have. You feel too superior. That is your problem. So that's it. Uh, my name is the Wounded Civilian. I like Obi. I like Obi. I was shocked when I Obi resigned. But the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. I was telling our people, wait. Somebody like me, I won't vote for any full animal. If PDP like give your ticket to full animal, me. Power must come to the south. That's where I stand for. I don't understand. I don't even know if we be want to be vice president to anybody now. We don't even know. So let us keep our fingers crossed and watch how this whole thing will play out. Thank you and God bless.